So, the road trips I did were many. We loved to travel and we went to so many places. From Bangalore to Chennai, Bangalore to Mangalore, Bangalore to Bombay. And I wanted to compare and see. Compare and see what, you may ask me. Compare and see. There's any trend in the number plates from Bangalore to Chennai and Bangalore to Bombay, for example. I was too little back then and we would go crazy wondering how to do this. And as I grew up, I got a friend who gave me the answer in seconds. Double bar graphs. So what are we trying to do? I have one bar graph here that shows a number of cars having different last numbers as the last digit in various routes, right? This between Bangalore and Chennai, this between Bangalore and Bombay. So how do I bring this together? Very simple, like this. Yes, just like that. I simply merged the two graphs to help me get the information I needed. Pretty cool, right? But there's one thing you should remember. Have you heard of the phrase apples and oranges? There's something you should watch out for when you're comparing and merging very coolly two different things. There's a high possibility of a small mix-up happening here. So before you take the data to make the double graph, you should always make sure that the number of samples you're comparing here are the same and also, more importantly, the scale okay, of both the graphs, the initial graphs should be equal. Only then can you merge them, otherwise you won't get the right data, right? In the sense, the scale of both the graphs was 1 is to 1. So it was easy for me to merge it together. So that's why I said, compare apples to apples, oranges to oranges, which means the same data to the same data. So how exactly do you read this now that you've got it here? So for number plates ending in 1, I have 7 cars in my Bangalore Chennai route and 5 cars in my Bangalore Bombay route. So what can I conclude here? You will tell me. I can easily conclude that there are more, right? cars in my Bangalore Chennai route by just one look. Why? Because this bar is taller in height. I don't even need to look at the numbers. So you see how easy this is compared to cross-checking from two sheets again and again and again. So when you want to cross-check, what do you do? If you have two graphs like this, you just do this.